It has been years since it has become common knowledge that the great dinosaurs had feathers, and with the passing of time, more and more dinosaurs are known to possess them. Most of the time, especially in more recent years, these new looks are accepted by the paleontology community and even in mainstream movies. This isn't always the case though. There are some cases where there are massive debates if they had feathers or not. A perfect example of this is, of course, Tyrannosaurus rex. Today I will be discussing if Tyrannosaurus rex and other large tyrannosaurs had feathers. This has been a long and controversial debate, with both sides having solid evidence. However, now in the year of 2022, it has slowed down with more and more evidence coming out. Though I don't see a problem with covering this topic in a simple way, and using today's evidence to ultimately determine if the Tyrant King had a little bit of fluff, a lot of fluff, or just entirely scaly. And besides, I made a video on this topic a couple years back, and it's in desperate need of an update. So with that out of the way, did T-Rex have feathers? Now, yes, we have currently discovered scale impressions on Tyrannosaurs. Currently, we have found scale impressions on Albertosaurus, Tarbosaurus, Despletosaurus, Gorgosaurus, and of course, T-Rex. So that's it, right? Scale impressions pretty much solidify a scaly rex, right? Well, the truth is, no. No, it does not. You see, most of these fragments are very small and are, are on sections of tyrannosaurs that are genuinely considered to not have feathers, like on the tail or around the underside. This doesn't rule out feathers, it just shows where the feathers wouldn't be. Alright, let's just ask the question. Were feathers useful for T-Rex? Well, the answer would be most likely, no. T-Rex lived in the Hell Creek Formation about 68 to 66 million years ago, and at that time Hell Creek was quite warm and moist. However, this doesn't automatically kick feathers out, as many dinosaurs who lived in warm climates like the Nemet Formation had feathers. Although T-Rex's size may come into play here, T-Rex was massive at an average of 40 feet long, 12 feet tall at the hips, and was about 15,000 pounds, making it one of, if not the largest theropod dinosaur to be currently discovered. An animal this size wouldn't have had much of a reason for feathers, not to mention the possibility of it overheating. However, size doesn't always matter in this debate, as you Tyrannus showed. Sort of. Eutyrannus Hualli was an early tyrannosauroid that lived in the Yixian Formation in the early Cretaceous period. The discovery of this animal was incredible, as there was undeniable proof of feathers on this relatively large animal, and because of this, Eutyrannus is used as evidence for T-Rex having feathers, though most of their claims aren't the best. First of all, I would like to talk about the claim that Eutyrannus was big, which proves that other massive tyrannosaurs could have feathers too. While that could be partially true, Eutyrannus was not nearly as large as said Tyrannosaurus rex. It was about 10 to 15 feet smaller in length, and about 11,000 pounds lighter. So while it was big, it wasn't nearly the size of an average adult T-Rex. Another thing was that the Yixian Formation was much colder than the Hell Creek Formation, even to the point of snow, so Eutyrannus needed the feathers for the extreme seasonal changes in cold temperatures. Now, there is one more point to this argument regarding Eutyrannus, and I've decided to save it until the end of this segment, 
because it also ties into the next thing I'm going to discuss. This point is simply the fact that you Tyrannus is a Tyrannosaur. So, to make things make sense, let's get a few things straight. Tyrannosaurus rex was a Tyrannosaurid in the family Tyrannosauridae, and the family Tyrannosauridae belongs to the clade of Silurosauria. But here is where things get interesting. Silurosauria contains numerous feathered dinosaur families, such as Manoraptora and birds, just to name a couple. Now, even though most Silurosaurian dinosaurs, if not all, were feathered, did that mean that Tyrannosaurus rex and other Tyrannosaurids were feathered? Probably, especially when you put into consideration that there is proof that Tyrannosauroids were feathered. Dinosaurs like Delonchiodoxus and, of course, Eutyrannus walli have been found with feathers, and since Tyrannosauroids were early in basal Tyrannosaurs, they would have had huge effects on the later to come relatives. This is called ancestral trait. Ancestral trait is when the ancestors of a species carry on a trait that their relatives inhabit. An example of this is Dromaeosauridae. We have only found evidence of feathers on some Dromaeosaurids, but by using their relatives and ancestors, we can determine that they all had feathers. And with that in mind, and with the evidence that has been obtained, it seems incredibly likely that T-Rex and all other Tyrannosaurs had feathers. So, now that we know that T-Rex had feathers, the next question is how much feathers did it have? Now, there really isn't much to go on, so a bit of reasonable speculation is needed. We know that T-Rex wouldn't have needed a lot of feathers, as it was so big and the environment that it lived in was pretty warm. Scale impressions seem to show where the feathers wouldn't be, so that can help too. Essentially, these feathers would be useless and just kind of be there. Going off that and the relatively new scientific consensus that helped with this video, it seems like adult T-Rex would have minimal and most likely basic elephantine-like feathers, as in the feathers would look like elephant hair. A perfect example how the feathers would probably look like on a T-Rex would be the prehistoric planet Rex. As you can see, the adult T-Rex has a little bit of fuzz on the back of its head and neck. It's perfect. In fact, all the Tyrannosaurids are great in this series. But what about the babies? How much feathers would they have? Well, it doesn't really matter. You can make them fluff balls, hardly feathered, or anything in between. The only thing I can say for sure is they had feathers. There just isn't enough proper evidence for the specifics. And as for other Tyrannosaurids, it was probably the same. Though the amount of feathers may have varied with the size of the animal and the habitat it lived in. In conclusion, Tyrannosaurus rex and other Tyrannosaurs were feathered. While most probably wouldn't have needed them, especially as adults, feathers would have been carried on by an ancestral trait. And with that, this debate is hopefully over for the moment at least. I'm pretty sure in the future some reliable paper is going to debunk the evidence in this video. And hey, maybe you guys in the comments will. Because that's just what happens while discussing paleontology. Science moves forward, and that's okay. This video is simply explaining what we know at the moment. And that's okay. T-Rex had feathers, though. So, that was my update on did T-Rex have feathers. I worked really hard on this video and had a lot of fun making it, so I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.